We have some startling new details about what went on inside an Indian Hill mansion Friday night. A federal judge and former attorney Stan Chesley were both surprised by three armed gunmen inside their bedroom. Not on your side anchor Julie O'Neill broke this story Saturday and she joins us live with details of what happened. Julie? It is nothing short of heart wrenching to hear this federal judge pleading with a 911 dispatcher, swinging back and forth emotionally between ordering her, call U.S. Marshals, I'm a federal judge, and then in the next breath, just pleading tearfully for help for her seriously injured 79 year old husband. Listen. Indian Hill 911. Yeah, 911. This is Judge a lot. Uh -huh. We have a home invasion. Okay, I have an officer at your house right now. Please send okay. more. There's three black men with guns at our house. They're in your house right now? Yes. Okay, okay. My husband and the dogs are still there. There's three black men with guns and masks in our house. Call the United States Marshals. I'm, I'm, I'm a federal judge. Call the right. Marshals. I will do that. I worried about my husband. I understand that, and we're doing everything we can. <laughs> Can you stay there till you have contact with the officers? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm in somebody's house from bleeding. Delot bleeding from her feet because she ran a mile through thick woods to get to a neighbor's house. The first neighbor didn't answer the door, didn't know who this woman was, had to go to another neighbor's house to call for help. Um, coming up at 6 o'clock, I actually just spoke with Judge Delot, and I spoke to a very dear friend and neighbors of hers who talks more in detail about this ordeal inside this home, uh, and I will have details on Mr. Chesley's uh, serious injuries in this. That's coming up tonight at 6. Live in Indian Hill, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you. All right, Julie, thank you. Those three suspects in the case were all in court today. Here they are. The mother of the suspect, Terry Jackson, says he was only involved because of the other two. He's never been in trouble in his life. Wasn't raised that way. Once these young men got out of jail, um, they came. You know, he grew up with one. He lives a street over, and he, he just embraced him. All three are charged with aggravated robbery and abduction.